Hello guys, welcome back to the Life is Strange episode. The last episode, Polarized. Wow, I can't believe this this episode 5 just released when I get back home and holy hell, the Steam said, hey, your products, your products has been really updated shit and whoa, now I can finally play the episode 5 and I extremely wonder how the hell a Mac's gonna solve every problem shit. So, what are we waiting for? Let's do this. Dark room. Well, uh, that only reminds Previously me of the terrible G mode map. Whoa. What did you find? Rachel in the dark room. Over and over. That's it. We can't trust anybody except each other. You know more about her than me. No. You and Chloe think you know more than anybody. Like all teenagers. Oh, look. The Wonder Twins. What are you doing in my dorm? You are so fucking dead! Nathan is truly psychotic. I know he has something to do with Rachel missing. <sighs> Kate wasn't the first. All those binders are filled with other victims. What are you doing here, Max? Victoria has to be next. What a lame gimmick. Rachel, why is he putting her in the ground like that? Where? The junkyard. Max, we have to find that spot now. Oh. <gasps> Rachel, what? I'm sorry, Chloe. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I know you're close to Nathan, but your life is in serious danger. Nathan just texted me. He says there won't be any evidence left after he's done. Oh god, Max, look. She's still there. Oh! No! Chloe! Look out! What the fuck? And we lost our fucking shit. Damn it! The Life is Strange point, uh, the story best game that feature player choice, the consequences uh, all of your game's reaction, action decisions will impact the past, the present, and the future. Choose wisely. <gasps> oh, I finally read it. I extremely wonder what's gonna happen to Max. Ooh. And everybody lost their shit. I mean, everybody thought uh, that uh, Nathan Scott aka pervert gonna uh, gonna did all the sh all those porn things that but hell the teacher did the shit this scary the house as hell teacher was the pervert whole time not the nathan was that nathan i actually i can't remember <laughs> i can't remember all the names in this game i can't gee how is that possible Well, poor girls. I, I really don't know how how the hell Nathan and that teacher involved all of this. I really have so a lot of questions. Well, I hope we'll figure it out in this episode. Paralyzed. Polarized. Sorry. Hey, nice intro anyway. Who changed her clothes? The teacher. The pervert did. And I gotta say, that sleeping drugs worked so fast. I mean, every sleeping drug works fast just like that? I cannot sure. Oh, I'm controlling now. Oh, my, my sensibility is high as hell. Now it's much better. Chloe? Now this is the lowest sensibility in my mouse. What? Oh no! Rachel! Uh, the dark room. Look at the Rachel! Max! Look, left side! There's a Rachel! Oh no, we warned her and we are fucked. Is Damn there it. anybody out there? Please help! Still, the lip sync is terrible. 
Oh, there was a Victoria. Who was Rachel? I totally forgot that. Who the fuck is Rachel? Damn it. Alright, speak to Victoria. Hey. Victoria. Wake up. Wake up. Ah, uh, she was still sleeping. We can't do anything. We gotta detach everything. Uh, let's start with the hands. Yep. Girls. Help! Somebody help me! Siren. Siren. Is, it, is that possible to reach the siren? No, that's totally impossible. There's no way to detach everything, you know? No way. You're strapping too strongly. There's no way to get out from there. These straps are hurt. Yeah, of course. I know that feeling. I never involved that thing, but... Oh, you did it! How? Finally, I'm free. No, you're not. Almost. Do you think you're actually free? I don't think so. Okay, we gotta find a way. Yeah, we gotta pull that thing with the, my feet. Yeah. So, still your arm isn't uh, enough to be free. And what do I do? I bet the cam that camera is still recording what I'm doing. Jeez, what do I do? Look at the syringe, that's all I can do? I hate looking at myself like that. You'll pay for this, Jefferson. Oh, Jefferson, yeah. Jefferson, uh... Okay, you didn't tell me that. I would never go back in time like this again. But this is the only way. Focus on the photo, my favorite. Eh. Hey. Hang on. Uh... Actually, you know what? I forgot. I forgot it. This is extremely terrible. Oh, I already heard here his pervert. Whee! We jump back to the photo time. This angle highlights your purity. See, the slightly unconscious model is often the most open and honest. No vanity or posing, just pure expression. Oh, Don't touch her, you pervert. Well, you're taking the photo with the camcorder? Hold that stare there! Stay still! How about no? <laughs> We're in the memory. Oh, Max! You fucked up my shot! Then why did you do this? But please don't worry. We have all the time in the world. For now, I knew. You were special the second I saw your first selfie. Yes, I still hate that word. But I love the purity of your own image. Not like Rachel, who was always looking in the wrong places. Poor Rachel. Wait. Let me try this angle. Okay, somehow move. he doesn't. He didn't rape her. I know that's kind of <sighs> much shit. Better. Thanks, Max. If only Nathan could see this setup. He tried so hard. But you can't just throw a few subjects around and expect a cohesive style or theme. But he had an eye for shadows. Why are you saying that? For a whole lot more. As his elite family will find out, along with Arcadia Bay. Nice. Good. Oh, those eyes. It's just too bad you're so goddamn nosy, Max. But this room is under 24 7 surveillance, so all I had to do was text you from Nathan's phone, and you fell right into my hands you really should have focused on schoolwork not private detecting with your little friend now you chloe. might be noticed uh the max is moving right chloe right yeah i'm sorry that i killed it, that nathan killed her in self-defense but she had a troubled history like most arcadia bay dropouts nobody will be surprised or care though i promise 
People will care when you die tonight, Max. I wasn't lying when I said you have a gift. Okay. Now this looks good. Maybe a few more close-ups. Yeah, the Jefferson is extremely real though, pervert. Max, please do not move so much. I need you posed and framed my way. You could just hire other girls no, for your photo. Oh, calm you down. Oh, no. No. Oh. Oh, you're gonna drug him again? Hurt much. Oh. Stupid bitch! How dare Just you call don't that? Listen, do you? In fact, you never did hear much in my class. If you had, you might have seen all this coming. God damn, you are a fighter, though. I've had my eye on you, and I've noticed that you've been more fearless this week than maybe your whole life. Remember my number one rule. Always take the shot. Well, so does that uh change the present? No, uh Oh it did. Oh it ruined his profile. Ah Cool. Oh, Jesus. I can't believe that happened. So sick. So something something has been changed. He lost some kind of his valuable photos. But I still don't know why that I forgot I forgot then I forgot that bitch's name. What was your name? I forgot it. I I was kinda of bad at memorizing. What what's your name anyway? Victoria. Victoria, yeah, 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 yeah. Victoria. It's Max. Can you hear me? Still the drugs too strong for. Oh god. Where where are we? Oh, what's happening? Jefferson have fucked You've us. Been drugged like Kate and me. Do you remember how you got here? No. I don't know. Wait. You warned me. You warned me about Nathan. Then, then I went to Jefferson for help, and he was acting so weird. That's the last thing I remember. And I can't move my hands. Help me, Max. Please, I'm sorry for everything. Listen carefully. Mark Jefferson kidnapped us. He's using Nathan as well. Jefferson is very dangerous, so we have to get out of here before he comes back. Max, I just can't believe this is real. I don't want to die like this. I'm only 18. We'll figure this out. Just hold on, Victoria. Nobody is going to die. Anymore. Max, what's going on? I thought you said Nathan was dangerous. But it was actually Mark? Mr. Jefferson? I was wrong. I should have known that Nathan couldn't do all this on his own. Do what? What's going to happen to us? Oh, please get us out of here. We'll be I'm fine, not Victoria. Going to let that asshole, get away with this. I just I need you to be strong. I can't do this alone. We need to act while we're clear headed. If he toses us again, we'll forget everything. And Kate Marsh was telling the truth. Even though I knew she wasn't lying. I could have helped her, Max. But I hurt her. Now it's... It's my turn. We're both here. Okay? Past is just the past. I this is happening. That Jefferson would do this to me. To us. Victoria. We will find a way to escape. I promise. Max. I believe you. Yeah. Okay. So we gotta do something extremely quick. Ooh, look at that. Okay. I broke those files when I kicked the trolley. Yeah, we broke the file. That's all I can remember for now. But we didn't do actually something kind of bad of a thing. Oh, 
I'm definitely more awake in this photo. I could try this one. Okay. You have to help us. This might work. Please work. And that should change the other uh present then. Uh no 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 there we go. Oh, I really hate your pervert voice, eh? I really hate that. Damn, I can't believe I'm back here. Hey, I'm pervert! Spectacular images here, Max. You just strangle yes. my chair Victoria and take the photo. How pervert you are! She doesn't understand our connection. You're the winner, Max. I choose you. Your portrait. Fuck you. You're trying too hard. I know you're scared. You all have the same doe-eyed look when you wake up here. Replaced by fear as you realize what's about to happen. Mr. Jefferson, why are you doing this? Oh, Max. I'm so glad you asked that question. Uh, simply put, I'm obsessed with the idea of capturing that moment innocence evolves into corruption. That shift from black to white to gray and beyond. Most models are cynical. They lose that naivete. However, some Blackwell students carry their hope and optimism with them like an aura. And those lucky few become my models, my subjects. Yes, you're a psychopath. And this is your last session. Au contraire, Max. I'm so sane that nobody knows what's happening to you right now. As you can see, Sleeping Beauty here is too harsh for my gentle lens. And don't get me started on your late partner. I had enough of those faux punk sluts in my Seattle days. Oh, uh, still we don't have uh actual evidence of that uh, he killed uh, Chloe. I mean, uh, based on my memory, the Nathan's called kill. Uh, he said Nathan got killed Chloe, but we are not sure because we wasn't focused on the who grabbed the gun. So, I just insult him. Go to hell. You will for everybody you've hurt. Unlike pure sweet Kate Marsh, I don't believe in that bullshit. She could have been my masterpiece. The world is what an artist makes it. And my muse... We just ignore what he's saying, lol. <laughs> blah, blah, blah. Artists don't kill. Hmm, I got an artist? Well, somehow artists can murder someone with their own photos. So... Blah, blah, blah. God, I hate your voice now. You might as well savor it, considering it's the last you'll hear. Oh. <laughs> that struck a nerve. Your face changed color. Beautiful. You will not get away with this. I want you to know that. When you told the principal that I made Kate cry, I thought you almost had me. It's good our esteemed Principal Wells is like most administrators. A closet drunk. I do know that the Prescotts are going to have a major scandal when the town finds out what their elite son has been doing for homework. You use Nathan, uh, yes, I guess you, but... You use Nathan. I prefer the term manipulated. Like with an image. Nathan's was easy to twist around. I became a sort of father figure for Nathan. It happens often in teacher-student relationships. It was kind of touching for a while. Did you tell him everything about your plans at Blackwell? Don't be stupid, Max. I told him what he needed to hear. In return, I had access to the Prescott fortune. Who do you think paid for this glorious darkroom and equipment? How else could I get all these hip new drugs for my subjects? Rachel Amber was your victim, not your subject. Oh. Rachel Amber. Hm. That's the real tragedy. Nathan thought he could be an artist like me. Instead, the dumbass gave her an overdose. Hmm. Now I just remember realizing 
uh, Rachel was the dead girl, uh, and found at the, uh, the car garage. Uh, I forgot it. It's about to, that location where Chloe got killed. Chloe and Rachel. You killed both of them. I didn't mean They're to say that. They're fucking together in heaven right now. Is that what you want to hear? Why? 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 Start listening to me, you dumb cunt. I'm sorry, Max. <laughs> that was not cool. Anyway. Rachel is dead. But no tears. Los Angeles would have killed her anyway, so... Look at this as a favor. You're evil. Oh, I see. You and your friends almost beat Nathan to death. See, we're not so different. Yes, yes we are. I cared more about Nathan than you did. No! You didn't. It's just too bad that he fell in lust with Rachel. He actually thought he could mimic what I do with the camera and subject, like father, but not like son. Where is Nathan now? Dead and buried. After what he did to Rachel, I knew I couldn't keep him as a protege for much longer. Now the police will never find his body. Do you finally get it now, Max? I can't compromise my vision with amateurs. You are an amateur. Look at the trail of death you left behind. You can't blame all this on Nathan. I don't care what you do to me. You're gonna die, motherfucker. For Chloe and Rachel and everybody else. I do love your spirit, Max, but you brought yourself here by your own choice. Anyway, I like my models to be seen and not heard. So I have to make sure there's nothing left behind of you. Okay. Now, let's see how these shots came out. I can see why your instant camera is so appealing. You don't need a computer to print your work out. Oh, so let's see what we can do. I have all those photos in my diary. This could be a way out. Oh, now this one. Well, there's this no clue that I can interact. Personified. I have all those photos in my diary. Whoa, 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 this what was that? Be a way out. Before he turn it on. Okay, that's gone too far. Speak! Okay. Wait. Please, Mr. Jefferson. Max. I would love to talk shop, but I really need to go over these pictures. Especially while they're fresh in my mind. I think our session was a career high for me. Oh no, my diary. Uh, <laughs> show me the photos. Well, can you? Oh yeah, she, she can jump to the photo, to the photo, the, the time, the time. Uh, what are you going to do? That's gotta be the extremely silly question, eh? Could you... Could you show me the photos? That's the first time one of my models down here has asked me that. Of course you would. But I love that the last thing you'll ever see is yourself through my camera eye. Eh. Too Maybe I should... Perfect. Should just choose the... The really downest thing. Alright, let's go... Let's rewind the time. No! No, 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 no. Skip and we. It's taking quite as long as I expected. We headache power. I can't. I you know I can't cancel the re time, uh, time rewinding when I press the quick Wait. time rewinding things. Blah blah blah. My diary. You. You still have my diary. Don't worry. Nobody's going to read it. Thanks for reminding me. Well, I guess that was a stupid There's thing. There's nothing more innocent than a teenager's diary. Oh, look at your selfies. What a waste of talent. Look at that shot, Max. You can do so much better. Oh, we can go back to where we, where we started? Oh, this is getting interesting. I see. Okay, 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 okay. We thanks for that anyway. Uh, going back to. Oh my god, am I actually going back to the whole the fucking past and start everything all over again? Oh no. I can blame him at the very first time. Holy shit. 
and capture you in a moment of desperation. Shh, shh, shh. I believe Max has taken what you kids call a selfie. A dumb I'm word back. for a wonderful photographic trick. Right back where I started this insane week. And nobody course, is going to hurt Chloe know, ever the again. The portrait has been popular since the early 1800s. Your generation was not the first to use images for selfie expression. Sorry, I couldn't resist. The point remains that the portraiture has always been a vital aspect of art and photography for as long as it's been around. Now, Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits? Actually, the problem is... Uh, I forgot the real, real answer, but I guess nobody cares about that strike for now. Not capturing, who cares, the real visually. Uh, I guess this one is the actual answer, but I really want to try the others. Hmm, what's the best, best uh, answer for that? And somehow he keeps staring at the mask. Hmm, I wonder when she gonna answer my question. Who cares? Yeah, actually nobody cares. Let's insult him. Who cares? This class is hella bullshit. I'll pretend you didn't say that and let you try to answer one more. <laughs> Sorry, there's no time left. I mean, your class is almost over. Oh. Well. Let's try the big bitch Thanks here. The morning, <laughs> Max. So, the Daguerrean process made portraiture quite popular. Mainly because it gave the subjects clear defined features. You can learn more when you finish reading the assigned chapters. Clearly, Max doesn't have the uh, time. Hey guys, don't forget the deadline to submit a photo in the Everyday time Heroes. To change time. The winner to San Francisco, where you'll be feted by the First. Artist. Let's make it real easy to capture Mark Jefferson. Melissa, get it together. Taylor, don't hide. I'm still waiting for your entry too. And yes, Max, I see you pretending not to see me. Bastard. So, okay, what do we do in this memorial place? In the dark room. Uh, can't you just uh, search the box and? And, uh, let's search in my bag. What's in there at that time? I should be able to track down David's number from the school pamphlet. Who's David? I totally forgot that again. I found you. What? Who's David? Oh! Oh, I remember the security guard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 555-630-8243. Got it. But surprisingly, I forgot the numbers once, again. David, Damn it! I'm praying you'll overreact to this as much as everything else. And take Jefferson down fast. And you delay it. You wanted huh. me to enter the contest, asshole. I bet no one's gonna care about that. going to San Francisco. And Jefferson. You'll be going to prison. But you know what? In this time, you don't have any evidence. Am I pushing myself too hard? Yeah, I bet you are. I mean, you're definitely pushing it yourself does. too hard. I'm happy to fix it, so you'll be here to get your fancy camera, Victoria. <laughs> What's the point of reading this shit? Alright, Kate, I gotta warn ya. Hi, Kate. Oh. Hey, Max. Kate? Listen to me. I am. Always remember that you're not alone. I've got your back no matter what happens. So do a lot of other people. We all care. Get my be one day. Hey, why is, why is the Max saying such a thing like that? Max, that makes me feel so blessed for the first time this week. I, I don't know what to say. That's oh. okay. Neither do I. Maybe we could both use a hug. Now, oh, 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 okay. You know, this is, this is, this isn't the real. This is just the max in memory. You always know the right thing to do. I bet this is just the memory. So that's the reason why, why the Kate acts like that. Oh, paper ball. What? What's the point of the interacting with the paper ball? I don't have, I don't have any idea. All right, asshole. Uh, here's your shit. Mr. Jefferson. We need to talk. Uh, Sorry about disturbing you. Are talking to Mr. Jefferson now? Yes, I see. But maybe you shouldn't. Uh, and why not? Hold on, Victoria. 
Are you okay, Max? I will be when Victoria understands that hiding behind a screen, posting videos of people is incredibly cruel and unfair. You're smart enough to know how easy it is to hurt somebody, to destroy their life. I just want you to think about how much Max it would hurt if somebody did it too did that fast. To she you doesn't have any evidence right from now. Victoria. I know you've got a good heart. I've seen it. Listen, I... I didn't... You don't have to explain. There's no reason for you to be so insecure that you can't be happy with your own talent. Wouldn't it be better to lift people up than to bring them down? You could inspire people. Okay, I don't know what you're talking about now, do I, Mr. Jefferson? I think I should stay out of this one, Victoria. Then I guess I'm done talking. And that's okay, too. Right now, in this time, Max totally forgot about the Chloe. That was kind of random, Max. What did you mean? Here's my photograph for the Everyday Heroes contest. Oh, uh, that was easy. No. It wasn't easy at all. Well, I, uh... I, I can't prejudge yet, but I'm very... Happy you decided to enter. That means a lot to me. And Blackwell, the, the first step for any artist is to put themselves out there in the world without fear. To be innocent. Or guilty. Uh, well, thanks for the photo. And maybe both of us will be jet-setting to San Francisco this Friday. Or maybe only one of us will be going. Don't be so modest, Max. Anything can happen in a week. As you're going to find out, Mr. Jefferson. I wonder what... I mean, after she did that, all of all of things... Oh yeah, Chloe's got killed here. No? Okay. Yeah, nothing happened. Chloe is still alive somehow, and nothing has been changed at all. Oh, the cops breathing here. Oh, sick. And Nathan's gone. Too bad. And this thing never been happened. And they found uh, Rachel's body. And Max won. Huh. All right, I uh, too many things changed. Oh yeah, and Jefferson actually killed the Chloe, and they have the happily, happily alive and decided to move to the other place. This video, this cutscene, just uh, running as the 25, 25 frame frame per second. I mean, every most of the cutscene always run at the thirty Whoa. frame per second, but don't know why that was. Oh, you're moving. You're in the airplane. Great. Okay. You're okay, Max. You're safe. On a plane. So. Oh. <gasps> I hope I did everything right this time. Oh, sick. Everything that I know has been changed and shit. Good work, David. I wonder what the text message said. Holy shit, you ruled Max. I am proud of yourself. Superstar, oh, blah, blah, blah. Alive. Oh, you're alive. I did it. I fixed everything. Nope, you haven't Wilder. fixed the one thing. Still, I remember about the hurricane. So, aren't you gonna roll the whole way back? Well, okay, window, and what is, what, is a flyer, no, we don't need that. Screen, use a screen, look at it. All right, principal. Be careful. I'm still between realities, and I can't focus on this one for too long. What? I, I, didn't, I didn't get that, well. Maybe I could use the, uh... We're almost in San Francisco. I'm so stressed, but I'm so excited, too. It's so weird to be in between realities. 
Everything is out of focus and in the distance. How am I supposed to figure that out? So what do I do here? There's nothing I can do. The principles fell out and frequently passed out, and it probably tired as hell. What can I do? Aw, I haven't seen Hot Dog Man in forever. Chloe and I used to totally play the video game and watch him all the time. <laughs> when we were innocent. You are kind of young. I have to admit, I love being called an artist. Blah, blah, blah. I don't give a shit about that, actually. The beginning of the end for Jefferson and the Prescotts. Oh no, too many words! No time for reading, damn it! Oh. Please fasten your seat and stow any electronic gear until the plane is on the ground and at the gate. Thank you. We're starting our descent in a few minutes. It's a beautiful day in San Francisco with clear skies and cool 60 degrees. We hope you enjoyed your trip and we thank you very much for choosing Pacific West Air. Come fly with us anytime. Uh, I don't think so. I'm hoping these airline seats get smaller so I won't have to fly at all anymore. <laughs> How did you sleep? Hope I wasn't snoring out loud, Max. Yeah, you didn't. Hopefully. Just a bit. Oh, okay, never mind then. It's been a tough week at Blackwell. So I hope you'll forgive me. Between Mr. Jefferson and Prescott's, things have been hectic, to say the least. I totally get it, Principal Wells. That's a smart way of telling me to stop whining. We are proud of you for representing Blackwell at the Everyday Heroes Contest. I know I'm not exactly the guy you wanted in San Francisco, but we all want you to have a great experience here. I already am, and we're not even there. Awkward. You're still bleeding. Oh, Christ. Another nosebleed? Max. You're not just screwing around with time. She haven't did anything yet. What we're gonna change it again? So they arrived at the San Francisco and they arrived at the cap. We are at the gallery. Full of uh well taken photos. Or pictures, art, things, something like that. I wonder where the max photo is. It could be here somewhere. Could be. Hey, your dreams came true, but you know what? The storm is still coming. San Francisco is so cool. And this gallery is huge. So is the buffet. If an event skimps on the food, you know it's a bad event. As long as I don't have to eat any caviar. This is your day, Max. You can do whatever you want. I hope you take advantage of your status and talk to as many influential people here as possible. Work the room. I cool. don't know. I'm, I feel so weird. Like, I'm a little kid hanging with the adults. Max, after this week, you are certainly not a little kid anymore. In fact, you're a noteworthy adult being honored by your peers. Now you have to start acting like the photographer you want to be. Hell, I wanted to be in charge of a big school someday. So I started taking charge of things when I was young. <laughs> Ask my poor classmates. Max, I'm going to eat up that caviar so you don't have to. Uh, better get in there and start schmoozing. You know, I won't always be here to take charge. But you come talk to me whenever you want. Cool. Come on, Max. After everything that's happened, this should be the least scary thing you've ever done. Yeah, because you're here. So, you said... <coughs> principal said I can do whatever I want. So, can I get the How fancy camera for free? Did it. Somehow. I went from the dark room to this gallery. I've been through so many realities in one week. Life is weird. This makes me feel so sad. Like I was back in high school. Coach, hmm. Let's sit there and do nothing. I can't.
can't believe I'm in San Francisco. That oh, there's Max's photo. Hello. Here on the plot. Hi, and there she is to save the day. Hey. Hi. I don't know who you are. You did it, Max. You're a real artist. At least for today. Oh, she's still bleeding. And headaches! Oh no! Now she finally reminded the hurricane things. Yeah, that was quick, eh? That was too fast. Too fast to realize that. Chloe! Hey, are you okay? We lost uh, you there for a second. I'm okay. Uh, jet lag. High altitude. Huh. Are you sure about that? I... Oh, you left the ringer off, idiot. Oh, come on. Please answer. Max, holy shit, man. Your vision. It's, it's true. You, you saw the tornado. It's coming. What? Oh, no. Chloe, where are you? I'm so fucking scared. I'm, I'm by the beach. I'm Chloe, can you hear me? Hello? Hello? Your phone oh is God. dead, lol. The tornado was real. Why of course that shit? was real. We have been seeing this to a lot. Arcadia Bay is gonna be destroyed. So how what you gonna do? I mean, uh, we gotta there find the principal then. Way to stop this. For good. Uh I'm running. This is apparently running away. Running around. Oh, there's a principal. But time is over. It's already said a uh, 40 minutes to record. So yeah. I'm sorry about the cut this the game right over here, but I really need to end this video right over here. Press up this video and you can subscribe to my channel then. I'll see you with the next part of Life is Strange episode 5. Polarized, I guess quite not sure. But anyway, thank you for watching.